While I was at the tower the other day, I had a chance to look at the Rodian Schwartz FSH3 TV analyzer. It's a handheld spectrum analyzer that you can get in several different frequency ranges. The one I saw went from 100 kHz to 3 GHz. With an optional tracking generator, this makes for a very good piece of test gear for any television or FM transmitter engineer. In the old days, Tektronix had its sideband adapter that allowed you to sweep your analog television transmitter using just the video input. With DTV though, you need a tracking generator. Sweeping a transmitter, or any amplifier, allows you to test its frequency response over its operating band. Now while the FSH3 has been out for a while, Rodian Schwartz recently upgraded the instrument to allow it to make ATSC measurements critical for aligning an IoT transmitter or testing any DTV transmitter. What they added was the capability to make several important measurements, including a constellation display that ensures that all eight amplitude levels are distinct and separate within the 8 VSB signal. If the transmitter compresses its output, then the constellation display will indicate this. The FSH3 also gives you a readout of shoulder attenuation per FCC specs and a full readout of MER modulation error ratio and EVM error vector magnitude plus a few others. While not the full range of measurements that you would find on more expensive devices, it's quite enough to set up and tune a transmitter. The one I saw was hooked up to a Harris Sigma transmitter so its IoT could be tuned. The engineer was very happy with it and its response. Some mid-ranged and even high-priced instruments have a lag time between input change and display on the screen. This makes tuning very difficult. With the FSH3, the lag time or rubber banding was minimal, making it easy to adjust the cavities on the IoT. The price of the unit with the K22 option for ATSC measurements costs around $12,000. Although not cheap, it's a far cry from its pricier cousins in the forty to sixty thousand dollar range. One of the shortcomings is that you can't make error measurements pre-equalizer. This is an important point, as a transmitter engineer needs to know what their transmitter is actually doing, without any correction on the measurement device's part. I assume this is part of what differentiates it from the higher end instruments from Rodian Schwartz and keeps you from buying this one instead of them. Well, comparing it to their higher price model, it seems there's only about a 3 or 4 dB difference between the pre-equalizer and post-equalizer readings when looking at it right at the output of the transmitter. So you can just subtract that off your measurements to get closer to the real values and save yourself thirty to forty thousand dollars. On Rory Schwartz's website, you can also find training software that you can download to your Windows computer and learn just how this piece of equipment works. Overall, the Rodian Schwartz FSH3 TV Analyzer looks like a great little box for setting up and maintaining your transmitter. And it won't break the bank doing that.